Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Matthew Craig, a.k.a. the Northside Narrator. We're down here at Beyond the Valley Festival, AU Dollars, Nini Jirachi. How we doing, family? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Absolute pleasure to have you on. How'd the set go? Look crazy out there. It was so fun. Um, big mistake was not eating beforehand. <laughs> so I think I was a little bit like, at first, I, I definitely had to kind of... Yeah, kick myself into it. But then I was playing for two hours. So I had yeah, a, a lot of time to kind of build it up, which was really good. The mm -hmm. crowd was really responsive mm -hmm. and also so big for yep. so early in the afternoon. Everyone has been saying that. Like the crowds at Beyond the Valley are showing out for the afternoon. Yeah, they're really good and so responsive. Like just so much energy the mm -hmm. whole time. Um, lots of cheering, singing along to some of like the bigger songs as well. Is that the best feeling in the world when you have a crowd singing your lyrics back to you? Oh, so I mean they weren't my lyrics. I was playing some Anything some hits, but Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah, really awesome. Everyone seemed like they were having fun. Um, yeah, loved it. That's mad. Yeah. What do you do to prepare for a set? Because for those – you won't know, but we were meant to do this chat earlier. We have flight delays. We got here at the same time. Yeah. It was chaos and you had to go straight into a two-hour set. How do you get into that mindset to be ready to go? Yeah, well, thank you for rescheduling as well. But, yeah, flight delay. Sometimes you just got to be ready to <laughs> pull up and play straight yeah. away. Um, I mean, honestly, I did most of my set preparation over the last week or so, yep. especially playing for two hours is a bit longer than I usually play mm -hmm. for. So I just kind of got a few more songs together and stuff. Um, but yeah, even just like the last kind of half an hour before I went to the stage, I was sort of doing a few things on the laptop to just, you know, just make sure I have all the songs I want to play there in yeah. front of me so I don't miss any of the important ones. Because yeah. the worst thing is getting to the end of the set and you've got 10 minutes left and you're like, oh my God, I forgot to play that yeah. really good song that I know everyone will love kind of thing. So yeah, just wanted to make sure it was all prepared. But uh, yeah, I guess just being really hydrated, being sober, mm -hmm. eating yeah. um, is really important. Um, I think to have – because I jump around so much. Mm -hmm. like I Your high have, energy show. Eh? Yeah, I just have to, I have so much fun, That's cool. you know. Like I, so I end up just dancing so much on stage and mm. I want to have like energy for that and be really present and stuff. Um, having friends really helps. I'm here with like 10 of my friends today. So it just makes it feel like more of a – fun group thing than mm -hmm. like a you know serious solo performance yeah, that's you know fair. what I mean that's fair. yeah did so you get food after the set I did the amenities yeah. are here good what'd you get oh my god the, at the vegan option it was just like yeah. a bunch of different veggie things Shout it was out. so good the catering hit the setup here is crazy it's it is beautiful. wild isn't it yeah you played a lot of festivals yeah this one's got to be sitting up there hey? it's definitely singing. I brought my little brother and he hasn't come to a lot of festivals before wild. and I was like Sam just so you know they're not all this cool <laughs> <laughs> like in terms of the setup, you know what I mean? <laughs> we are getting well looked after here. Yo, yeah. 2022 has been a pretty wild year for you. I, I feel you, just a rising star. Massive oh, trajectory. You. How's it felt? Have you had a moment to sort of pitch yourself, smell the roses and just go, yo, I've achieved some cool stuff this year? Yeah, definitely. In the last week, I went home to my family for mm -hmm. Christmas um, from the Central Coast. Shout out to Central Coast. Central, Central Coast for sure. Um, and just like relax and like think, yeah, I actually deserve to relax now. Mm. I've actually done a bit this year. So What do you do to relax? Go to the beach. Yep, nice. And hang out with my family and my pets mm -hmm. and, yeah, play my Switch. Beautiful. Yeah. Chill. That's it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. And you got a few festivals coming up, a few shows on the road for a little bit. Yeah. So Wildlands in Perth tomorrow mm -hmm. and then Field Day in Sydney and then Wildlands in Brisbane the first week of Jan. And, yeah, that's the New Year's one. So, well, if you're that's watching this around the country, make sure you don't miss out on her set. Go catch one of those sets. One of the questions we've been asking everyone here at Beyond the Valley is what, beyond the valley, when, what are you moving beyond in 2023? What are you leaving behind in 2022? Mm, I'm leaving behind going to bad events <laughs> where, <laughs> where I'm not having fun and mm. I just go because of peer pressure or like I feel obliged, but I'm actually, it's, I'm actually like tired mm -hmm. and it's not the best thing for me. I've got to do other stuff. Yeah. Protect that energy. Yeah. Not going out when I don't, when I shouldn't be <laughs> or I don't have to, you know? Yeah. Don't be doing that. 2023, we're out here beyond the valley. Nina Drachi, AU Dollars. You know what's up.